Okay, today we're going to talk about how you can intubate through an LMA. Okay, one option that I want to mention but that I don't recommend is use of a bougie. And this is really only what I would recommend in an emergency if you had to. Because this is blind, I mean, theoretically, we may have a chance of passing this bougie into the vocal cords, but a lot, you have a high chance of going inferior or lateral uh, to the glottis. You can cause a lot of trauma if it's blind like this. The next option that you have is use of a fiber optic bronchoscope. So we just get our endotracheal tube ready like this. And then we go ahead and pass the scope down the LMA and guide the tube into the trachea. So I just advance this scope down the LMA until I see the vocal cords there and I'll just pass this scope through the cords there. And then once I'm past the vocal cords, I'll just advance this endotracheal tube. So once that endotracheal tube is in there, I go ahead and pull my scope out and then I can uh, hook up my circuit and ventilate the patient here. Now, there's a couple of disadvantages with the technique that I've just used. Number one, I'm limited on the size of endotracheal tube that I can use. The max size endotracheal tube that I can use is a six and a half endotracheal tube if I'm using a number four LMA. And the max size endotracheal tube that I can use is a seven endotracheal tube if I'm using a number five LMA. The second problem with this technique is that now I cannot remove the LMA here without extubating the patient. So, because of that, I'm limited on how deep I can insert the endotracheal tube. And I'm going to take this out here so you can see this demonstrated. Um, that is the max amount of length that this endotracheal tube extends beyond the LMA. And so, I'm not going to be able to insert it any deeper than that, and that can be a big problem if someone has a deep larynx. The recommended method that we uh, choose for intubating through an LMA is through use of a blue Aintree tube exchanger. And this is just a regular tube exchanger like the yellow tube exchanger, but what you're going to notice is that the lumen is much larger. The interior diameter of the blue tube exchanger is much larger than that of a yellow tube exchanger. So it allows us to slide a fiber optic bronchoscope through the Aintree tube exchanger. So the method that we use when intubating through the LMA is we get the Aintree tube exchanger over the scope, then we're gonna go ahead and advance this scope uh, into the uh, trachea. Okay, then I go ahead and advance this fiber optic scope down the LMA and into the vocal cords and down into the trachea and now I slide my blue tube exchanger uh, into the trachea and pull out my fiber optic scope. Okay, so pull out my scope there. Now the great thing about this method is this allows me to take out my LMA and now I can slide an endotracheal tube over this tube exchanger and into the trachea. Now I can use larger than a 7.0 endotracheal tube and I can also remove the LMA so it allows me to advance this endotracheal tube as deep as possible. The only disadvantage to using the Aintree method is that you cannot use an endotracheal tube size lower than a 7.0 because the diameter on this Aintree tube exchanger is 6.5. So another method of intubating through an LMA is by using this specialized LMA called the LMA Fast Track. The thing that makes this LMA specialized is you notice that it takes a really sharp turn at the bottom which helps direct the endotracheal tube to the glottic opening. Also it has this handle on the main portion which allows you to manipulate the LMA and turn it in any direction to help direct the tube. The kit also comes with a specialized reinforced, very flexible endotracheal tube and a stabilizer bar which helps aid in uh, removing the LMA. So you insert the LMA. So once your LMA is in, you can go ahead and take your lubed specialized endotracheal tube and pass it. Right now what you want to do is take your stabilizer bar 
and main in keeping the endotracheal tube through the cords so it doesn't pull out. Now right now you want to make sure that when you go and pull out the LMA completely that you do not shear off the endotracheal pilot balloon. Go ahead and take your connector, place it back on the tube, and hook up.